Understanding eBay seller limits. eBay seller limits are one of the most important factors on our dropshipping business because the more limits that we have, the more products we can sell and the more profit we can make at the end of the month. A lot of service providers are charging people to increase their eBay seller limits, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video for you guys so you can do it for yourself. But most importantly, understand how they work and what you need to do to increase them. All of that in this video, so stay tuned, watch this quick intro and let's begin. how to increase your eBay selling limits. Now, I wanna remind you guys that a lot of service providers are taking money for these things that you are about to learn. So learn, implement, and enjoy. The first method to increase your eBay selling limits is the automatic method, which means you're selling well on eBay, you're close to your limits, eBay has algorithms to see these things and they will simply give you an automatic limit increase. This is the most recommended method to go about when it comes to increasing your eBay seller limits. This is the most ideal place that you'll wanna be because once you start getting the automatic limit increases, you know that you are doing a good job selling on eBay, you're shipping out your products on time, you're taking care of your customers' requests and everything is working well. So how will you know if you got an automatic limit increase? Well, you will simply get an email from eBay that will look like this. The topic will be now you can list even more and the email will look like this why wait list more now highly run or whatever your name is congratulations you've been doing a great job selling on ebay and we've noticed how would you like to list even more well now you can here's how much you can list every month then you'll get a before and after on your items or on your fixed dollar amount and it can be either or and it can also be both of them at the same time so this is an example of one of the automatic limit increases that i got on one of my stores in this case, they increased my amount from $35,000 to $67,000, which is almost eight times two. And they can do the same thing for your items too. Only when I got this email, I probably didn't take advantage of all of my items in their limits, but I was close with my dollar amount. So they automatically increased that. And I got more than enough automatic item increases too. So don't worry about that. But this is the best way to go about it. Be a good seller. Don't list items just to list them. Make sure that each item is optimized well. You will make those sales and you will get the automatic limit increase as long as you also take care of your customers. Do not forget about that. Now, let's say you did not get an automatic limit increase and you still want to increase your limits. So the next method, if you don't get it the automatic way, is to request to list more. You have a link to that. And once you click on it, your seller account will send eBay a request to get a seller limit increase. And eBay will use automatic algorithms to give you an answer on the spot. You'll get an answer, either a positive one and what your limit increase is, or they'll tell you, sorry, you are not eligible for a limit increase at this time. Please try again in one month. Now, where can you find that exactly on the seller dashboard where I showed you guys, where it shows you your current seller limits. So let me show you once again, eBay on the top right, my eBay, click on selling. This will take you to your seller dashboard. Then scroll down to your seller limits. And here there is a link request to list more. So if I click on it, it's gonna send eBay the request and then I'll get an answer right away if I will get the limit increase or not. The advantage here is you don't have to call eBay you don't have to try to open up any chats and you will get an answer right away, right at the spot. The disadvantage is if they tell you no, you won't be able to ask why not or to know what's wrong or to get any other type of information. The only thing that you'll be able to do is wait another month to be able to click that button again. You can click it 10 times a day, but it won't matter. Once you click on it once, you won't be able to send another request for the next 30 days, but that is another way to do it. Another quick way to do it without having to talk to them on the phone and so forth. So request to list more, you can find that on your seller dashboard. Try that, but before you try, make sure that you followed all of the conditions that we just talked about before to make sure that you are eligible for a seller limit increase. The next way to do it is to contact eBay by phone. I would mostly recommend this method and there's a good reason for that. So let's go over the pros and cons of talking to them on the phone and then seeing where you can actually get their phone number. So when you contact them by phone, the AI advantage here is they usually don't record calls and even if ebay does record them it's very rare that they will ever even listen to them and that is different from sending them emails or clicking that request to list more button because they will always have that history and they will see it right away when you try to increase your seller limits again they can tell you okay we see that we see that you tried a couple days ago or, or a couple weeks ago and you have to do it every month but if you get to them on phone most chances are they won't 
record or listen to that call or have it anywhere in their history logs that you called and tried to get a limit increase. So if you fall upon an eBay representative that's not helping you too much, you can simply hang up the phone and try again. So this is the biggest advantage of talking to them on the phone. Do not exploit this method because you know, once you start exploiting methods too much, then they find out about it and they make that harder for us. But this is the most recommended method. If you try the request to list more and it didn't work and you didn't get any automatic limit increase. Now, the way to contact them by phone and the next methods, which is contact them by email or open up a chat with them. As you can see here, you can also get an email option or you can even chat with eBay. There is an advantage and disadvantage to each one and I will go over them. But what you do need to know is the way to get there, the process is the same and you can get either the email option or the phone option or the chat option and you'll be able to see exactly which option eBay is giving you depending on the subject and also depending on your location and the time zone. So let me show you an example of what I mean. But first, before that, I want to talk about the pros and cons. So you know about the pros and cons of contacting them by phone. We talked about that. Now, the thing with the chat and the phone, I also talked about that a couple minutes ago, is that these are going to be logged, these attempts. So if you will send eBay an email or if you open up a live chat with them and you try to request a seller limit increase and for some reason they deny your limit increase, you will not be able to try again for a month, which is different from the phone, which I just explained. But again, the process to get there is the same. So let's see those options. Let's head back to eBay. Okay, now what I wanna do on the main screen is on the top bar, I'm gonna click on help and contact. Then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, browse help articles, I'm gonna click on selling. And here, get to the exact problem that you're having. In our case, it's selling limits. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, the first thing that they're gonna do is try to teach you a little bit about seller limits and how it works. And you'll have the request a limit increase button here too, just as we've had the link on our seller dashboard that I just showed you guys. So we already tried that option and let's say it didn't work. So we're gonna scroll down some more. Again, request a limit increase, same link that will take you to the same direction. Then we're just gonna scroll down all the way. And here we have a need more help section. So here is where eBay is gonna give you a chance to either chat with them or they're gonna give you their phone number with a one-time passcode to be able to get to an agent quickly. Or you can just use a regular eBay number. If you Google eBay contact by phone, you'll get their phone number. And then you'll simply have to wait a little bit longer to get an agent on the line. So that is another option to get them on the phone or we have the request a limit increased link as we've seen over and over again which in this case let's say it didn't help us and then we also have the email us option which in this case ebay decided to give me that option so if i click on email us it's going to open up a form and here you can write that you want a seller limit increase you took good care of your store and so forth of your customers and all that and your limits are almost full and that you have a lot more products to sell. And as they can go ahead and check your history, you've been selling really well and you've been taking care of your customers and then it won't really be a problem. So I got the email us option in this case, but if we choose different help subjects, we will get different buttons to contact them, different forms of contact. So let's say for example, let's go with setting up your return policy. I'm gonna scroll down all the way. Here I got only an email us. Let's just try one more example just to show you guys that it really does work and that if you play around with it enough, you will find different options. Again, it also depends on your time zone and your location. So all of these things affect what help options you're gonna see at the bottom. And as you see here, I did get a chat with us option with only a one minute wait time. So that's actually pretty great. And as I've explained, it depends which problem you are choosing. So I think this time it was selling fees. Right, so it was selling fees and this time I got the chat with us option. So play with the different help options. You will get also the phone, you'll get the chat and you'll also be able to talk to them by sending them an email but I do not recommend chat and email. I do recommend doing it by phone if you did not get the automatic method as I've explained before. Again, guys, a lot of service providers are taking a lot of money for the information that I'm giving you guys in this video. I want you guys to have your own experience and to have the right knowledge for really being able to scale your stores. Remember that eBay is a numbers game. The more listings that you'll have, the more you'll sell. Of course, product research and the products that you are selling will make a big difference on what you will sell and what you won't but there will always be a significant difference between stores that have a hundred or a thousand listings to those that have 10 to 20 thousand listings it's a whole different ball game so ebay selling limits is something that you need to know how to increase and the bigger your limits the more you'll be able to sell in profit 
scale with AutoDS, it'll help automate your business. And again, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and the value that we're bringing to you guys. If you're new to our channel, this is the kind of content that we love passing forward to you. So subscribe now and always stay updated on the latest and the hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping industry that is always made from dropshippers for dropshippers such as yourselves. And if you want to see new content on AutoDS, head over to feedback.autods.com. Let us know what features you want to see and we will listen and implement. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck with your dropshipping stores and your seller limits.